Now, if you can imagine the, the 30 foot pyramid that I had, knowing that it contained energy and it's free flowing, it's always coming in and it ne it's non stop. I said, well, why can't I harness this? Little crystals will do it. Why can't I harness a pyramid? So I made myself, I'll just go to the blackboard there and give you an idea what I'm talking about. I made myself two coils. One was uh, just a small one like this, and it was electric coil, counterclockwise. And I hung that in the top of the pyramid, but before I did that, it was, it was stove wire, and there's about eight strands of copper wire and stove wire, and I undid them and made them into a lot of fingers like this, spread them out, something like an antenna. And this end here, I just hung it up, fastened it up onto the beams, and that was right in the peak. Now I went downstairs, and I had a square piece of, a spare a piece of plywood, quarter ply, and I made uh, a magnetic coil with old antenna wire. It was double wire. And I put one end straight through into the earth, and so looking at it like this, uh, it stuck through there, and my coil is on here like that. And the other end I left standing up to connect. One's into the earth. Now, uh, all this wire here uh, is only quarter ply, and I used two inch staples. The staples went straight through the ply and gave me a better ground. This was also, this was also ground in the center. Now, there are many things that have happened to me in my time that I can't really explain. There are many things as I have known, but don't know how I know. And this is one instance where this happened to me. I knew I had to connect these two together with some natural wool, sheep's wool. Nylon was not what I wanted. And so uh, I, ha I got hold of some uh, ordinary wool, and I measured it out. I up the stairs, the stairs go right to the top. I measured it out so it hung from here to within oh, six inches of the floor. Plenty to fasten to that and to fasten to this. Now I stood on some, on some steps up there and fastened that to there, I just wrapped around and tied it around. Simple. Nothing clever about it, just fastened it to this copper wire. And I hung this down through the steps, through the stairway, until it was hanging down. But it wasn't touching the floor. I went downstairs to connect this to that. And as I caught hold of that, it threw me 20 feet across the floor. I'm 180 pounds. And it picked me up and threw me 20 feet across the floor. I got no skin on this elbow here and all down my leg here. And I lay there for about five minutes at least, wondering what happened to me. All I had done was touched a piece of wool. Now, this wall had gone through, it, it wasn't even connected to this, it had gone through my uh, cube root of the pyramid, which was about here, and up to the point, the second magnitude there, and that part was connected. And when I touched that, I grounded the whole damn thing, and it threw me 20 feet across the floor. I didn't know what had happened to me, and uh, the result of it was, I took the whole thing to pieces. I still have the parts. <laughs> you can have them if you want them. And uh, I realized that I was fooling around with something I didn't really understand. 